speak to an uh, Chief Executive of Utopian Health Services, Dr. John Adeshioye. Good to have you with us. Um, so let's Thank start you. with health services uh, across Africa. I'm sure there's a, a, a huge variety of how some of them are better able to cope than others. What's the picture when it comes to controlling a pandemic? It's, it's, the picture is quite disturbing because majority of the resources you need to actually control the pandemic is supposed to be in the public health services. Unfortunately, you have very few countries in Africa that have very robust public health services. For instance, of the top 10 African countries, healthcare-wise, South Africa at the top seems to have the highest number of reported cases so far. And unfortunately, most of their hospitals are in the private services, but they seem to be coping quite well. Nigeria, however, which is the most populous black country, is rated number five. But unfortunately, this is mostly due to its private healthcare services, which under the circumstances is not expected to cope quite well. When it comes to preventative measures, we've seen countries like South Africa, for example, preparing for a three-week lockdown. Um, but some of these countries, I mean, South Africa in particular, have massive differentials in terms of social uh, inequality. So is something like that going to be effective? It's necessary. Um, the effectiveness is going to differ across the board. When you go to the shanty towns and the slums, it's not going to be very effective because it doesn't matter how much you lock it down. People still live virtually on top of each other. In the cities, it's more controlled. And again, in countries like that, you have a huge informal sector, which means it's going to be difficult for people to make a living when you have them locked indoors. And that's the major challenge that people are going to have. In countries like the UK, there's a lot of focus on hand washing, but uh, I imagine that must be quite difficult in countries where water is not as readily available uh, as, as the UK. You've got that right. Um, for you to hand wash as regularly as needed, you have to have potable water. Um, you have to have water, period. In all of these places, they don't have such access to water which is why there's been a lot of focus on sanitizing as well, which are things you can actually produce locally. And a lot of people have access to alcohol and glycerol and, you know, aloe. So they're using sanitizers as a better option than scarce water, which under the circumstances is the, you know, the preferred option. Uh, John, good to speak with you. Thank you for your insights there. John Adeshioye speaking to us there from Utopian Health Services.